Okay, so it's gonna be a really easy fix today. My name is Kyle, and I am for server comp. So today, what I'm gonna do is put on a new uh, screen protector. It's getting old, and I'm gonna put on this otter box. Um, it's pretty difficult to put on. I had to figure it out too. So I might as well just do a quick tutorial of it. So. I'm gonna take this old one off. I don't like this one because I'm already a little annoyed because when it drops, it can still get damaged as you can see. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Probably not, but it's like chipped, which I don't know if it's unrecoverable if I actually take the whole thing off, but that seems like too much work. So I don't recommend these keyboard leather protectors. They're just not good. The Otter Box is a lot better. I wish I bought this one earlier. This is like some keyboard thing and my brother has a another leather and I feel like it's, what's inside is just cardboard and when it cracks it's just not good so what I'm gonna do is clean this off a bit and take off the old one can zoom in a little bit here and this is pretty easy you can just use your fingernail and just pull it out yeah. And I'm gonna go get something to clean it. So this is just the the little screen I bought. I'm not replacing that too. And also make sure you have your tablet off. And I learned that actually from a fellow of mine that the tablet works through ion through something like ions of water. So if you have uh, it won't work if you put like a paper towel on it, but it will work if you have a little bit, if you damp it a bit. That's how the touch screen works. It's pretty interesting. So... Okay. okay, so I bought this glass screen protector from Omotion. It was pretty good. I think it was like maybe like five bucks, something like that. It's not that bad. It opens up just like a book, pretty professional, high quality, and I recommend at least putting this on tablet or things that you use often get protected from like finger oil and, and whatnot. Just be careful when you open it, I have a fingernail. You don't want to wreck the tempered glass. That opens up. So the way to do it, I did this before. This is a screen protector here. And that comes out, which I'll open after I open this. So you get a little package. You open that up. And it comes with instructions, and uh, this is to take out the bubbles. Wish it would. Sorry for the bad uh, zooming. And it comes with a little towel. It's pretty good. So let's open this up. First thing is you do is. You want to wash it, but I already did that, so skip that step. And the next step you want to do is actually put the screen on. So let's take this out. And this is the dust absorber. You can take this out and grab dust. I'm not going to waste it yet. I think I'm going to put the stickers on. So you got to put the stickers on and line it up. Um, and you gotta figure out which side goes on. So, 
So you have to remove this peel off before you ap apply it. Uh, so it goes on like this. But you don't need to do that yet. So the trick is you put it on your, uh, your screen, line it up as best as you can, and then use the stickers as a guide. So they come with three. And you want to make sure this is correct. So try to line it up as best as you can. And then you stick it like a little book. It actually turned on, but that's okay. So you put it on like a book. And then you lift it up. Actually, what you're supposed to do is actually you can do this. You lift this up. And you can do that. Well, it should. You can just do it like that. It's not very good. So I'm going to just do this. And the next thing you do is you can lift this up. Rewash it one more time. So just to go through the motions. Open the cleaning wipe. The wet one. It comes with a wet one and then you dry it. You want to be in a place where there's not very much dust. You can, I had a gentleman tell me that you could try to wash it with a, or you can do it in a bathroom with the fan on. So one more time to wash it very good and clean, get in the edges. And then you grab the dry one. It's a really good kit, awesome kit. Then you wash it like this, like so. Then you could use the uh, the nice uh, fiber optic wipe. And the next thing you want to do is grab the other sticker. This is for to get off dust. So you can just do this. I don't think there's a lot of dust on it. You can do this. And just put that on there. You can just do this for now. And what you want to do is peel it back. So we're going to apply it. It's not very steady, so I'm going to leave that on. It moved. You want to make sure it's actually tight. Make sure it's tight so it can fold like a book. This is how you it measures it. Alright, let's pull that back. Shouldn't have gone there. And then you can peel it back, as you can see. Be careful with your fingers. And it didn't really stay very good. I don't know why, but it's supposed to temper back like a book. You can just put it on yourself. Sure, it's actually on. Um, okay, that's good. So, put these back on a little better. What you want to do next is take out the little bubbles. You go outward from the side. Looks like there, I might have put a little bit of dust in there, that's okay. And it looks like there's a little dust in there, so I'm going to lift it up and use that sticker to take it out. So I don't like that. Yeah, so. Just put it under, you don't have to put it all the way out. Just make sure it's all off. Don't want that sticky stuff in there. 
TJ Flex says today, historic. There's only been maybe one other recruiting class ranked as highly as this one. Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank
And we play a very physical, dominating conference that you have to be big, strong, physical. You put that in the back. Seen it from the sun. Top. This is like double the protection because it has a, already a screen on it too. Just snap the corners on. Snaps so. And that's that. And then you put the rubber cord on, rubber mat. And this will definitely protect it. I mean, I drop mine on my on some mat at work, which I really regret. Wish I didn't do it, but not much you can do about it. Just do it like this. It's a little heavy, but hey, that's I rather have a something heavy duty than the not. So you put the corners on first. Then you snap that in. Oops. The rubber should just go on like so. Nothing will damage it. This is like true protection, folks. Alright, and there you go. You have the otter box. So let's zoom out. And the way the stand works is that he pushes down. And you can just have it sit like this. It's a little weird, but it's not like... It's not what I would want it to do. I wish it actually would connect and actually have a long stand that was strong enough, but you just do this. Let it slow down and it looks like, it's supposed to look like this as a stand. It's not that strong, but it works. I don't know if my brother used it. You can do it like this too, which isn't that great either. I mean, you can just probably do it like this. Something like that. That's it. Ultimate protection, folks. Looks just like new. I recommend this. Whenever you buy a tablet, buy the Otter Box. You won't regret it. Alright, thank you.